Okay, so what I have here is a ResMed Escape 2 unit. It's a, it's a new unit, and for those who want to know how to <clears throat> get into the clinical setup to change the airflow, um, you're really not supposed to do this. It's supposed to be by prescription only, but I had to do mine because mine was uh, at a 10 and I needed an 11. So I'm going to show you the sequence on how to get to it. Because um, nowhere on the internet you will find out how to do it. So what you do is you just turn the machine on. And it'll show you at level 3, get it pumping out. Go ahead and turn the machine off. Hold this button and this button down at the same time. Hold it down for a minute. See, now, you, now you're in the clinical menu. Okay? The EPR, full time, what you want to do is you want to tells you how many hours the motor's had on it, that, the serial number, the date, the time, English. Um, you don't erase the compliance, and then usage, which means I've only had this machine for seven days, and out of seven out of seven, I've used it. And you want to go up one more time. I've used it for 50 hours. So this right here is the calibration. Don't touch that. Do not ever touch the calibration. The CPAP, that's what you need to change, is the 11, okay? So what you use, you go over here and hit your change. And then you can change it to whatever pressure you would like. Um, mine was set right here. See? If you, want, if you want to set it at 10, you just hit apply. And then you can hit exit again. And, the, and now it goes back to the patient menu. So all you got to do it again is turn it on, turn it off again, push it back. Hold these two buttons down again, go into the clinical menu, go through all the settings. Um, and then let's go and change it back up to 11 again. 11 actually is really high pressure, I mean, it works perfect. When hit apply, hit change again just to make sure it's stuck on 11. Hit exit, takes you back to the patient menu. And then you, I keep my ramp off. I like it starting right when I put my mask on. Um, and, you know, change it five, ten minutes, whatever. Hit the menu again. <clears throat> EPR level is a three. Because on 11, it's hard to exhale. So I have to keep it on a three so that way the motor shuts down when it detects that I am exhaling. Um, so I can exhale properly. That way I won't suffocate when I sleep. And then it'll give you, you know, the basic stuff again. Um, that's it. The exit button. And then that's it. So right there, who who those are out there wanting to know how to get into the clinical setup mode of your um ResMed Escape 2, now you know. Have a good day.